what is up guys today um there ain't there ain't much going on you know the other day just got off of school did a little workout took a shower that's why the hair is wet but besides the facts today i'm gonna be showing you what i use for my video taping and recording and all that good stuff because if you ever want to get into it and you're just wondering how to start off you know this is the video that will do it so stay tuned so there's a number of video cameras that I've used over the years that um, have allowed me to get you know good quality pictures not maybe the best but good enough for you guys to understand what's happening and that's the biggest part is getting a camera that allows you to understand what is happening so when I first started making videos before like fishing videos or little adventures and stuff I would make like videos about you know, stories and little weird things like that, like little um, gunfights, you know, just weird, weird stories like that. And the camera I used was this Kodak, this little HD, like, um, I'm not sure, like, how popular these things are now, but it worked good. It doesn't have wide-angle lens, so, and for some reason it seems really zoomed in when I use it, but it does a job. It, you can see clearly it has good audio, and this is what I started off using first and you've seen you've seen me use this camera actually you've seen me use this old Kodak in a couple of my videos one of them being the summer bass in 2016 and my um, Canada videos I'll use this camera from time to time when I can't use the camera that I'm using now because of a couple reasons um, which I'll get into but this camera I'll use when it's raining or if it's looking like it's going to rain or if I need an extra camera or I'm not using one of my other cameras. When I can just sort of set it down and use it for more of like a portrait I guess. You know it's not going to be like first person looking or it's not going to be using it for like um, how I'm holding this camera now. It's going to be more for just like if I'm out there and I have the camera right here, that type of video. So the second camera that I use is the GoPro, the GoPro Hero 4 Silver to be exact. But uh, I got this, got it mounted to the chest mount which I had gotten for like 11 bucks. It's obviously an off-brand chest mount which is why it's so cheap and that um, it's, it's not a huge deal to me. I try and get my stuff for cheap and just so that I can um, don't have to waste money on stuff that could be used on other things. So that is what I use for the GoPro and it. The GoPro works fine, great. Um, audio, maybe I'll have to test out different types of uh, skeletons, house housings. As you can tell for this, um, this housing is the one is is the one that can go really deep in the water and I can change the backing and stuff, which actually does help with the audio a little bit if it's uh, just clear backing, but yeah. The third camera that I use is the Galaxy S5 camera um, that comes with this phone. It works great, it has good audio. Um, the big thing is is that it's convenient. Like I get to use this thing if I'm not using the GoPro or if I'm trying to videotape someone else's fish catch and I can guarantee that I get some good footage. If I can't bring that camera along or that camera isn't in use, I'll use this one. Okay, so right now I'm using the Galaxy S5 and I'm showing you the camera that I'm using right here. This right here is my mom's, yes, my mom's Nikon P100, I think. It has a wide angle, Coolpix P100, yeah. Wide angle view. It's not a DSLR. It's, it, it can go to manual and stuff, but I don't have a um, an audio port to plug into my own like shotgun mic to get the audio a little better. That's why it sometimes sounds like there are two of me is because of this right here. I think it has a left and a right um, audio and so I use this thing it works great you know I feel like it has decent uh, picture and it probably takes better picture than it does uh, recording which is more of what it's meant for I think is the picture and so that is what I use this for is you know those times when I can use this camera and I usually don't use it if I'm trying to get it wet because I don't want this thing to get wet you know because it's not mine and yeah so that is most of my cameras that I use but yeah, they all work out. They're all used for different purposes. This one I obviously use to hold it like this. Um, I use this little Joby or whatever it's called. I think that's what they're called. And uh, it helps so that I can get a better wide angle view going on. The only problem I have with this camera, which you probably notice, is sometimes it looks like I'm looking 
off. I'm not even looking into the camera. It's because I'm looking at my face, which is right here. The ca it's the face is right here, but the actual um, camera is right there. The so that is a problem I have. I do I do like how I can see myself over here, and I can sort of look what I'm doing. But also at the same time, I tend to look at myself to see how it's going more than anything else. That right there is pretty much it for the cameras I use. Uh, for my GoPro I have two batteries which helps. I need to get more SD cards but the batteries help for in case you know I want more footage and I'm going to be out longer on the water. This I use a 16 gigabyte even though I hardly ever use 16 gigabytes worth of footage unless I'm maybe on a really long trip which should be coming up spring break, spring break I'm going to Florida. Not sure if I'll be doing a lot of fishing but I'll make sure to record a lot of it. Um, for this uh, Kodak, I would use a 16 gigabyte. It doesn't take as much in 1080p. Um, it doesn't take up as much space. I get like a, about an hour and 40 minute worth of footage in a 16 gigabyte for this, which is pretty good, or maybe about an hour or so. But that's that's good enough for me because it's not like I'm going to be straight recording on that little tripod thing I have on this extension for the Nikon. But it works. It works. And so um, yeah. If you ever want to get into it, just comment any questions, you know, let me know if you need anything, if there's anything I can, like, help with, I guess, for, uh, what you want to know how I do this, I guess. Basically, the videos I've been making lately have just been, uh, me doing these types of things. I try and get out fishing once a week, and other than that, I try and help you guys understand, you know, fishing and just anything outdoors, and once the weather gets a little nicer, as you can tell, it's looking like it can get a little stormy soon. A little, a little stormy. Right out there. Camera. It looks a little brighter. It looks brighter in the camera than it does actually in real life. So, with that being said, I just wanted to show you guys what I have, what cameras I got, what I film with, because that stuff is cool to me, I guess. I like videos, videos taping stuff, and uh, I always did. But I hope to get better at editing, you know, adding music stuff. Um, but that being said, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, hope to keep putting out more videos. And, uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks again. Um, yeah, all right. I still have to figure out how to end these. Uh, thank you.